Thank you for uh, sharing your experiences about LMI. Vikram, so far since last 11 years, you probably you've done nearly 96 people uh, on LMI programs. Uh, why is it that you have been taken such a large number of people through these programs? Uh, it's a good question, Arain. And um, uh, 96 people over 11 years is not too many people actually. It's just nine people every year. Uh, so, but if you look at it from uh, our context when we started, uh, we started with our top managers, our uh, uh, management team, and then we realized that as we were trying to implement the learnings from LMI, it will not make sense without involving more people down the line and having them go through this same experience so that we have the common language, same language same philosophy of doing work within the organization. Hence, uh, I think over 11 years, we have put at least 10, 9, 10 people every year. And I think that's how we are progressing on this uh, journey with LMI. So I think over these 11 years, you've invested probably nearly 50, 60 lakhs in these programs. Correct. What has been the, uh, the, the return that you have got? I think the investment is more uh, than the 60 lakhs, just in fees, etc., but more in the people's time commitment that's gone into this. However, I, I can see there is a tangible benefit of uh, more than uh, half a million dollar uh, in minimum. That's what I can see based on the process improvements uh, that we have been able to do. A lot of new ideas in optimization and the biggest gain according to me that uh, draws us back to LMI training every time is the ability to free up the time of our top management so that they can focus their activities and their thoughts on strategic initiatives helping to grow the business or making us more efficient and thereby improving our bottom line and top line. So, so I think that's the biggest benefit that we derive out of the LMI program. So good. So uh, uh, is this something that has happened and what has been uh, the impact of that on the organization? See, it's already happening. It, uh, uh, once a process, uh, once we learn the, uh, the team that goes through this uh, LMI training, they come back uh, or they apply learnings, things change, they become better, our processes improve and so they get institutionalized. And at the same time what happens is personal efficiency increases. And uh, there is a lot more push down the organization from these people who go and get this training done. And they are able to percolate a lot of the work that they were doing downstream. So they are able to percolate new systems, new practices. And I see a lot more uh, problem solving acumen, better uh, communication across the organization. Uh, there is uh, better coordination between the various functions and overall a higher degree of focus on the benefits for the organization rather than individual benefits. Okay, and has that also led to the faster growth of the organization? Is this something that is? That is difficult to say, Narain, because uh, there's circumstances uh, based on the market that we are, the global circumstance. Last six, seven years, we have been in, uh, you know, the global recession has been there, so that has taken an impact. However, what it helps us do is, Whenever we have to add new businesses, whenever we have to grow, we are ready for it. So there is, uh, we are not waiting uh, to grow our organization in order to keep pace with the market. Rather, it's the other way around where we are working and being preparing ourselves so that whenever this growth comes, we are ready to encash it. And the good thing is we have been growing every year since we have been in uh, inception in 2003. And the only reason I can attribute that we have been successful is because we have been prepared, our people have been prepared, and the LMI has a contribution to make over there. Okay. You talked earlier about institutionalizing the concepts and things like that. So, his, that, that has uh, uh, brought in the culture which is uniform now? or Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, if you ask anybody in our organization, uh, you will uh, uh, see people talking about the terms that they have learned in LMI and those terms have become a daily uh, vocabulary. Uh, people uh, use their 
uh, uh, the learnings from LMI and apply it in their daily lives, in their personal lives, in their work life. And as we have now an ecosystem of 96 people who have undergone this, it has very much changed the culture of the organization where we are more focused on what are the high payoff areas that we need to work in, how we communicate with each other, how we delegate work and how do we look for effectiveness in any area that we are working in so that we can improve our profitability, we can improve and we, we are ready to gain from new businesses that we are bringing into the organization. So the culture changes definitely. Okay, one last question Vikram. Uh, you have taken uh, people uh, as low as your fifth level in the uh, seniority cadre. Uh, so why is it that you have been able to go down and what, what has been the incentive to take it down to such a low level? I think uh, this did not happen by design. Uh, we were in fact left with no choice but to go deep down into our organization for this training. The reason being that when we trained our top people, uh, we realized that when they want the people down the line to do the work and they are using the LMI techniques, the others are not able to understand. And so, in fact, it's, 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 it, it was very, it was like we have to do it. There is no choice whether not to do it because then it would have been work half complete. So, it is a natural progression. I think uh, um, from my perspective, the way we ha I have seen this program, it is a top down program. You go start with your top people, create a culture and then keep on percolating it down. And as new people come into the system, they get assimilated, you, read, you train those new people so that they become part of the culture and the vocabulary that they are using and they start using the same skill sets that we ensure that every employee in our organization should have. Thank you, Vikram. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.